Oh, it's Howard Berger and uh, back with uh, CTE, getting back on track. It's been a few uh, few months, uh, several months since uh, my last video, and I don't know if you've uh, seen them on the YouTube. Uh, most of them are CTE finally explained videos, uh, which gives you a little bit rundown on the CTE techniques. Um, and there's uh, five videos from beginner to uh, a little bit more advanced. Um, I've been mean, utilizing CTE for two years, and it's a, it's a pretty good system. I mean, uh, you hear a lot of crazy systems out there with uh, feral systems and uh, off, uh, you know, shooting off the light or the, or the pool table light or some kind of crazy things. But CTE is definitely uh, a system that uh, has a foundation. It's been around for a long time. Uh, you've probably seen, uh, you've seen a lot of videos uh, on YouTube uh, with various people like Stan and John and a few others. Um, you know, it's a great uh, system. It's a little difficult in the beginning uh, to pick up because uh, of the differences between uh, ghost ball and CTE. Um, I know a lot of players that just shoot center ball, don't use CTE, and uh, shoot a great game. Uh, so maybe the center ball is part of it. Um, uh, but again, it's, it's a good system, particularly when you're in a, in a position where uh, you may be stuck, uh, to utilize the edge versus a uh, point of contact. Uh, I uh, use it uh, around 75% of the time, and, um, and uh, it's, it's a system that uh, once you learn it and uh, you get involved in it, uh, you pretty much can get right into it, step right into the shot. Um, there's a little less pivoting and, and, uh, and lining up, uh, so of course you're kind of used to the, the type of angle, and uh, it works very well. Um, there's a little too much verbiage out there in terms of uh, all kinds of different uh, styles, and, uh, like objectives and all these kind of things. Uh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I try to get right into the shot, play fast, and, and get on to the next shot. Um, when you're playing in a game, you can't start measuring uh, angles and percentages and kind of things. You've got to get right into it. So after a little bit of time, uh, that goes really fast, and you can uh, line up and just shoot the edge, you know, edge to edge and uh, get right into it. Uh, if you recall, the, um, the object ball has three uh, areas, and maybe even the fourth, if you count them out at the end. Uh, a, B, and C lines are the point of contact on the object ball. There's also a little dot on the, on the side, which is the one-eighth spot. Um, again, depending on the angle of the, of the object ball going into the pocket, it depends on how you shoot it in, using, utilizing A, B, and C. Sometimes uh, you may think it's a B shot, that it's not, it's a C shot, and you overshoot or undershoot. Uh, but this is something that you have to really work on and see uh, how you could uh, adapt to that. Um, one of the areas people always ask is, is it more tougher to shoot the uh, point of contact with a ghost ball, or is, it the point of, or is it more difficult to shoot an edge? Uh, that's something you really have to decide for your own. Uh, I find uh, the edge is a little bit easier for me. I can get right into it and, and uh, <clears throat> line up a shot uh, pretty quickly. And, um, and I, again, I really miss uh, on the uh, basic shots. Uh, and you can still get the position. I use the English uh, somewhat on the um, on CTE. I, I don't uh, use it too much. When you start using the English, it tends to make the ball bear off. So uh, you can use maybe a, a half a tip or tip of English. Uh, in most cases, and get the ball where you want to go. Of course, you can throw it back or follow up, no problem there. Um, but this is something, again, with practice, you can kind of develop uh, how you want to set that up. So let's get started. Board. So here we are, CTE, back on track. Okay, here we have the um, lemon ball in the left-hand corner going straight up. This is a kind of basic shots, but it gives you an idea of the uh, measurement that you got to take. So you're hitting from the uh, right side of the cue ball, and if you, if you do a C hit, that's what happens. If you do a B hit, that's the B. You're going to again hit the rail. So you kind of get a, a grasp on the 
uh, aiming that has to be in there. This is 15%, so it's it's going to be A straight up. There's a tendency sometimes to incorrectly uh, judge the A, B, or C hit spot. And that's something you have to work on. Uh, in, uh, in this case, it's straight up, so it's, it's a straight A all the way through. And all you have to do is aim that A. I don't pivot as much, but you can measure it and then just line it up. So it's right cue ball edge to A spot on the uh, object ball. Once you get a hang of it, this is almost automatic. You can hit the A every single time and it should be no problem getting these balls in. go over that again if you hit the wrong area like if you let's say you think this was a C which obviously it's not uh, you're gonna veer right into the into the rail so you could pretty much know that that's what's gonna happen but if you hit it on the A it's gonna go into the uh, pocket directly if it's a little bit more than a straight shot you're still gonna use the A so you line up Still use the A, still point to the A spot, and gives you a little bit more direction than hitting just the center. The cue ball is always hit center cue ball, so keep the keep the uh, cue yeah, and the yeah. cue ball on the center basis, and you'll be okay. It's a little bit of a cut. Uh, the ball's lined up to the dot. The cue ball is lined up to the dot from the bottom and the side. It looks like a B cut. So you're going to just line it up, and you're in. Now sometimes you'll have uh, balls in your way, so where do you go with this? You can't go to the left. It's a little tough. So you have to go to a cue ball right edge, to object ball left one eighth for a corner shot. It's a little easier since you, your ball is so close to you and you're just aiming for the edge. Kind of the same scenario, but now you cut off from both sides, so you can't go to the corner. So you have to go to the left side pocket. So you're going to do a left edge of the cue ball to the, to the right edge of the object ball, one eighth. Again, I don't pivot as much, but you can come back and pivot in right to center and it'll go in. Pretty much the same type of shots, just on the other side of the table. In this case, you're lining up with the C, so your Q is going to be left, left side of the Q to the C spot. Some people just line up the C and uh, and just shoot it accordingly. And like I said, a little bit of practice, you'll be lining it up without even pivoting, without uh, pretty much getting into the shot. I'm stepping into these shots. I'm not uh, pivoting, pivoting either left or right. I'm just stepping right in. This is an eight foot table, so it's not very difficult. Uh, <clears throat> there is a tendency to veer off if you're hitting the wrong. Again, English is used, but, but not as much. I mean, I'll use a half a tip or a tip of English. Of course, you could uh, stop the ball or, or, you know, draw it back or follow up and use those old techniques. Uh, but you try to keep a little bit of those to the minimum. Uh, you can still get the position that you need. And, um, 
and and you could run out the tables uh, using the CTE traditionally. Here, the cue ball is pretty much about the dot. The I think it's the five ball is uh, on the dot, on the spot, and these are traditional shots that you could go. And once you get fixated on these, you could uh, do a little bit. So you can't. You could put it in the side. You could put it in each corner. On the spot just where the cue ball is behind there, it's traditionally either an A or C. In this case, it's right cue ball edge to object ball A, right into the corner. Same shot in the other direction, same spot. And if you wanted to move it over to the to the right pocket, the side pocket, just left edge, right edge of the cue ball, left edge one eighth. There's a situation where sometimes you you know you get stuck and you have a choice. Now this ball is definitely bankable, so you could bank it right into the to the side, uh, or uh, it's about uh, per parallel to the dots, and the cue ball is just a about an inch or so off the rail, so it's a nice cut into the side. So you can utilize either the bank, or if you want, just go right ahead and put it into the side pocket, and this would be a right edge a cue ball, left one eighth on the object ball. Again, some basic uh, cuts just to give you another view. Uh, again, I ten tendency for me is just to move into the shot, and line it up. You can see that that's a, it's pretty much a B, uh, and you could just uh, put it right in. Just aim at that B spot, center your center your cue into the center of the cue ball, and boom. A little bit of a difficult, more difficult cut. So this is a one eighth cut. And you could do some very deep cuts if the if it falls almost on the rail or and you're close to it, uh, almost when they're parallel. You can still slice it right in. This is a traditional spot shot. Um, you see, um, this is a, not a difficult shot, although you still have to measure it like anything else. So you're hitting on the Right on the cue ball, edge to the left edge, object ball A, and you're in. <coughs> Pretty much the same spot, the same area. Again, same general area, um, just to give you a little, little bit of differences, but uh, the shot is the same, hitting the A. Well, going back to the uh, spot shot, uh, this is a good shot to practice, just to give you uh, a way to line up the balls. Uh, this is a series of the same kind of shot from left to right. Now, if you're hitting to the right side, I, 
I tend to swing over, so I'm kind of like pivoting over from the right side. See the way it's I'm pivoting over to the right side? Just kind of measures it easier for you. So when you pivot over to the right side, when you're going for a right-hand corner, I think it's better. And if you're going to the left-hand corner, pivot from the le left to right. Kind of almost automatically gets into that when you pivot in you just pivot right to that spot you know where the a and c is and you just put it away and that was a one eight uh, into the side pocket. Just some different uh, different areas of the ball. Uh, you can just practice these kind of shots one after the other. You can guesstimate where you got to put the cue and uh, and the kind of s s the area of the object ball. Straight, just hit A. So I set up a table of uh, uh, rack balls. This is a traditional shot. It's a seven ball. I'm using a little bit of English. This is kind of a, kind of a uh, I guess, a B. Came around, and I'm in the middle. This is a B shot. I hit the five right in. Go for the 10 right at the side. Kind of a straight shot. Again, 13 is across across the way, which is just a standard B shot, straight shot. I wanted to get the position on the 15, but that didn't work out, so uh, I had to go back for the 11 ball on the end, which I'm going to do now. This is kind of a C. So now I'm able to uh, hit the 15 in, uh, utilize the A with a little bit of English just to get me around the table. And now I'm aiming at the 14, which is kind of like a C or it could even be a little bit of a 1-8 shot, pretty thin cut. Uh, again, just to get me around the table. Now hit the one ball in the corner using the A. Nine ball, same thing, use the A. These are more or less straight shots, they're almost all Bs. Coming around now, back. Pretty much two shots. Coming around, go for the three. This is a B with a little bit of draw. Coming back, tap the six. Four balls is pretty much a straight shot. B. And the six level lines up nicely as a B. Well, thanks for watching. That's uh, pretty much it. Uh, any com comments, clearly uh, send to me on YouTube. Thanks.